Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Today I have a super, super simple one for you that everyone can make, and you don't even need to have any of these fancy grills back here. You can very easily do this on a cast iron skillet. But today I am going to be using the Monument Grills gas grill because that's just my choice. But you can definitely do these in a cast iron skillet. And today we're even making it more simple because we are going frozen. I am going to be using these bison burgers to recreate. The Ted's Montana Grill, the green and horny, green and horny, green and horny. What the F was that? I meant green and hot. When you're doing these videos, you get a lot of things going on in your head and you just blurt out stupid words. I did not mean green and horny. I meant green and hot, spicy hot. I saw this online the other day and said, you know what? I can make that. So this burger has pepper jack cheese on it, the bison burger, obviously. It has grilled jalapeno peppers. It has guacamole, all on a browned up bun. And we're going to make this goodness because you know what? If I can make it, you can definitely make it. No need to spend 20 freaking dollars on this burger. And we're going cheap with the frozen patties. We're going from frozen to eaten. How much cheaper can you get? All right, let's get these patties open up and let's get them on the grill. And I'll bring you back when it's time for that. All right, we got a winter storm heading upon us, and it's going to start off with thunderstorms first. So we got a little bit of weather coming in, so we got to get this crap done. All right. Let's get these bison burgers on. And always remember, old lives matter. All right, let's get these wonderful-looking bison burgers on. And if I didn't mention before, the... Ted's Montana's Grill burger that I described is a bison burger as well. And this is what I'm going to use this cast iron skillet thing to grill up the jalapenos. All right, but not right yet. Let's get these burgers going. Turn this flame down a little bit. And I'll bring you back in a little while. Okay, I think it's time to get these jalapenos cooking. We got the burgers cooking pretty good. And let's get these jalapenos on here. All right, let's let them cook a little bit, and it'll be a little bit before we flip the burgers. All right, I think it's time to flip these burgers. Check these peppers. Oh, they're getting there. Let me give them a flip. Ooh, that freaking grill is hot. Okay, we got them all flipped. Let's get this lid closed. And it's creeping ever so closely. We'll get it done. All right, time to get these buns toasted. This cook is going quick. Look at the jalapenos are already done. Turn that down to low. Matter of fact, let's just take these jalapenos off.
Okay. These bonds. Getting there. All right, in case you're wondering, 160 or better on the bison burgers for internal temp. All right, get everything kicked down to low. Get a few more minutes, and I'll bring you back inside when it's time to plate it all up. I almost forgot the pepper jack cheese. But there it is. Just got to melt that cheese on the burgers, and I'll bring you back inside. Sometimes you forget stuff when you're... In the middle of filming stuff but we saved it all right i'll bring it back in when all this cheese is melted and we're ready to build the burger all right i got these burgers brought in let me bring it down below and we will make this burger up the way it's supposed to be and just like in the picture of ted's montana grill all right let's go down below and create this goodness okay instead of the sriracha aioli sauce that ted's montana grill uses we're going to be using this Puri Puri sauce, which has fermented and dried chilies in it. So it's still going to give you that little bit of a kick. So we're going to be using this sauce today. All right, let's get this burger going here. A little bit of the sauce down. Okay, then we have the bison burger. And we're going to put some jalapeno peppers on it. And now for the guacamole topping. All right, now all we have left to do is crown that sucker. And there you go. All right, let's give this burger a taste and see if Montana Grills had it right. I'm sure they did because this is, looks like it's going to be freaking delicious. Well, it's jalapenos, the guac, pepper jack cheese, the bison burger, the toasted bun. We got everything right here. All right, I'm going to go in here. Hmm. Wow. You got the heat of the jalapenos and the creaminess of the guacamole and the pepper jack cheese. Fantastic flavors all put together. Oh, yeah. Look at that. All right, we're going to go in for one more, and then I'll leave the rest of this later. Mmm. Mmm. The heat. But it's a good heat. All right, everybody, if you want to make a cheap, simple to cook, you don't need a fancy grill for it. Like I said, you can cook it on a cast iron skillet in your house. And you like a little bit of spice on your burger, this is it. The Green and Hot from Ted's Montana Grill. We just made this crap at home. You don't need to go out and spend $20 on this freaking burger when you can make it at home. And I got four of them that we made. 
for about $20. All right, everybody, if you're new here and you like what you see, please consider subscribing down below. To all my regular subscribers, I really, really appreciate you, as you always know. And as I always say, if I can cook it, you can cook it. Stop making boring food, and I will definitely catch everybody on the next one. Take care, everybody.